guys, welcome back to Inner Gainer, Gamer, part of the Kingdom of Geekdom. Damn it, one more time, reset. Hey guys, welcome back to Inner Gamer, part of the Kingdom of Geekdom, sponsored by Woodens Online. Today, I am going to talk about Kingdom Hearts 3. I am exhausted and I am 30 hours in to this monster of a game. And this whole video is going to be spoiler free. None of that. I am not talking about the story, anything from Kingdom Hearts 3 up. If we're talking right before, something you need to know, for nah, I ain't gonna go there. The story picks up right after uh, Dream Drop Distance, with all that, and that happened in that, so I'll let you look that up yourself. Uh, just because I don't even want to get anywhere near a spoiler on this. But, when it really comes to it, this game is the first game in a very long time that I lost track of time. I thought, oh, I'll just play for an hour. I look at the clock, oh my god, it's been six hours. Where did that go? And I didn't even realize. It is a beautiful game. It is stunning on a 4K TV with a PS4 Pro or an Xbox One X. Good lord, that would be beautiful. I'm not even playing with that. It's so good. And just some of the gameplay stuff. For those of you who have played Kingdom Hearts like 2 and some of the other ones, here's some differences. One, it's much more free-flowing. It kind of took Kingdom Hearts 2 and mixed it with that dream drop distance, kind of bouncing around, kind of zooming around. That's how Sora moves. Okay? Donald actually lives in this game. It's not, oh, one of my favorite YouTubers. He said, oh, go, let's go on another adventure with Sora, Goofy, and Donald's unconscious corpse. No, Donald's actually alive in this one, and he's never been KO'd while I've been playing with him. Goofy is... It's Goofy, come on. He's strength, he wipes people out, and then, you, of course, you've got the extra characters from each world that changes. Of course, they continued things like from Nightmare Before Christmas, there are form changes that when you hit the world for the sake of order, is what they always say, that uh, you will change into that shape. So, of course, we all know Monsters, Inc. and Toy Story. Some, some, some nice changes with that, too. Let's see. When it really comes down to it, when it, gameplay. The Keyblades are awesome. You can finally upgrade the Keyblades. And that gets extra power, extra strength. So it isn't like, uh-oh, I got this cool Keyblade. Throw it away, I got a better one. That You can upgrade your Keyblades so that the Kingdom Key is just as good as the newest strength-based Keyblade I have. And they have form changes as a Keyblade. One of them changes to a shield. One of them changes to a spear. One of them changes to, like, a staff that just... I love the staff. When you find the staff, I love it. So I'm going to say on that. It's absolutely my favorite. Um, dodge, 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 hit. Cryptic, I know. It's, it is just overall, the Keyblades are cool, the weapons are cool, that you keep a lot of the same... Sorry, I am exhausted from playing this game so long. Um, you know you can upgrade the items or your defense with uh, armor as well as accessories. The AP in this game, the ability points... I mean, I have almost everything on at all times. So I think that got a little bit easier from Kingdom Hearts 2, where you really had to decide or just beef up Sora on every single thing that you get. All defense buffs, all magic buffs, all strength buffs. Everything goes to Sora. Frankly, I gave a couple to Donald and Goofy, just because I didn't need them. Let's see. When it comes down to it, the only things I don't like about Kingdom Hearts 2 is very small list. One, the voice acting is a little weird. But it's been 13 years. So they got some of the original cast. Cool. You know what? I can let that slide. The other thing, then this is something small, and it's gameplay-wise that just kind of irked me a little. You have these, we've seen in the trailer that there's different um, theme park rides ultimate moves that you can do. Okay? And you activate those by picking up power-ups. And sometimes it can just clear out enemies super quick. They came a lot. You can get your bonuses quickly, and you can't, if you get, let's say, here's the, here's one bonus, and then you have your Keyblade upgrade, and then you have Goofy's ability, 
but you want to just skip straight to the Keyblade ability, you can't do it. You have to hit that ability, the ride, cancel through it, and then upgrade your Keyblade, and then hopefully you have time for Goofy's ability. You can't choose which one to do in a specific order because they're all on a timer. They've got 30 seconds to use or lose. It is that simple. So them popping up so frequently, them being devastating because it just wipes out a bunch of the enemies, and the fact that you can't skip, that bugged me a little. But it's still, overall, it was really good. Um, just the story on each level is nice because some of them pick up from after the respective movies. So it's kind of the canon, what happens next kind of a deal. And the organization is much more in this. It goes into the characters from two that we were kind of like, what happens with them? You know, Axel, Kyrie, Yen Sid is in there a bunch, Mickey, Riku, all that good stuff. It's overall, I really don't have a lot of complaints about this game. It's it's fast paced, it's fun, I enjoy it. The, some of the characters replaying those movie scenes and using specific keyblades that I enjoy using because it fits my combat style and my ability style. Another thing that I did was there's these cool little scavenger hunts. There's these hidden Mickeys that you have to find, and there's these pictures, okay? I had to look up some of these where you, you take pictures of these specific things, and they give you bonuses for synthesizing and all that good stuff. I did all those because I wanted to go back. And some of them, the tip for me on the photo challenges, you have to zoom out all the way so that it gets the entirety of the shot. Whatever you're taking a picture of, you need to have point to point the whole thing. I tried multiple times because I nicked just the top, tippy top of it and it didn't count. Uh, so make sure you do that. When it comes to synthesizing and upgrading your Keyblades, asteroids. Of course, the gummy ship returns. And the gummy ship, you can upgrade, you can go do, it's not just a one-time portal, you can actually travel around, choose where you wanna go, fight waves of Heartless, fight waves of Nobodies, as well as you can destroy asteroids and you get bonuses. It's worth wiping out a few asteroids, especially some clusters of them, because they do give you some good bonuses and that I farmed it for a while to upgrade some of my gear. It's, the other thing that kind of bugs me about it is, ugh, excuse me, um, is it, I think they could have, within 13 years, I know this game went through just a crazy amount of development and it was on again, off again, is it coming, is it not? Coming 2018, okay, it's coming, really? Nope, 2019. They could have done some of the other classic worlds and classic characters that we've grown to love, like Beauty and the Beast, Nightmare Before Christmas, um, Aladdin, some of these ones that just are iconic to the game. Or maybe you can do like skins or upgrades or that kind of stuff. You can find hidden keyblades or synthesize those old keyblades. I would have absolutely loved that. But I'm not complaining. Trading Nightmare Before Christmas for Monsters Inc. and Toy Story? It's close. I would still like to see Jack Skellington. But overall, overall, I'd give this game a high A. No question. Four out of five, nine out of ten. It was fantastic. Actually, if 9 out of 10 or 10 out of 10. It was just gorgeous. I'm rambling at this point from that lack of sleep. <sighs> this has been Inner Gamer, part of the Kingdom of Geekdom, sponsored by Woodlands Online. And if you're thinking, oh, Steve, you should go back to sleep. Nope, I'm going straight back home and playing more Kingdom Hearts 3. Yeah, I'm going home to play more of it. I gotta keep playing. Thanks, guys.